Well, hello and welcome to the show. I'm glad you've joined us this week. We are having so much fun filming these Intern Mania shows with all the interns working here with us on the ranch. And so today I have Lizzie with me. Lizzie, how long have you been riding? Oh, about five years. Okay. So Lizzie comes to us with the least riding experience of all of our interns and today we're going to work on a riding exercise, a riding lesson that's a lot of fun to do in the round pen. It's going to develop seat and legs for Lizzie to really understand how to stay solid in the saddle. That's coming up right here on Discovering the Horseman Within. Now the sun is rising slowly On the mountain you must climb and the trail that takes you closer to the source And you dream about the moment When you leave it all behind and Climb up on that one true horse That one true horse The perfect partner built to ride One true horse A bond that cannot be denied you would search forever just to have the chance to take a ride on one true horse. I'm gonna take a ride on one true horse. Okay, Lizzie. I've got just a little neck rope here for you. That's for your sense of security. It won't do you much good, but you'll feel better. You can hold on to it if you want. You can keep one hand on the saddle horn. Okay. What I want to do is work till you get away from that. And what I'm going to do is work you in the round pen. I want you to focus on your horse. I like you for now to just kind of look right here, just about where he's bridle path. Okay. Okay. And watch his head, right? If mm -hmm. his head's coming up, he's gonna stop. If his head's dropping down, he's probably gonna turn or speed up, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to watch his ears. If he's coming off to the side, that's where he's gonna go. If he's going the other way, that's where he's gonna turn. Now to start with, I'm gonna tell you everything I intend to do before I do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say this phrase a lot. Feet forward, face back, okay? okay? Most people, when they start to get a little uncomfortable, they start to come to the saddle horn like this. So I'm gonna say, get your feet forward and your face back. Right? Mm -hmm. Where I would like to see you is about just like that, with your heel down, your toe out a little bit. I want to see you kind of sit a straight line here. You don't have to sit like John Wayne, super straight. I actually don't mind if you get a little slump, but stay straight this way. Don't get back and forth. Okay. You can fall into your saddle. Mm -hmm. Don't lean forward. Don't lean back. What I really want you to focus on is keeping weight in the soles of your feet. I want you to stand on your stirrup even though you're sitting in your saddle. Okay. You should push down. That's why your heels are down. Here's the concept. If you are sitting on the saddle, you're going to fall off. If you're sitting in the saddle and you have your weight around that horse and down mm -hmm. in your feet, you're going to go where the saddle goes. I want you to think about growing roots in your legs. This is something Sally Swift said years ago, grow tree roots down to the ground. I want you to really think about getting your center of gravity low and sitting through this horse, right? Not on him, around okay. him. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to control him. So what we're doing is preparing for the things you can't prepare for. All right. Okay. And Tex is a pretty wild child. He gets out and gets pretty rambunctious. I'm going to send him off. Move him around here to your left. Now I'm just gonna pick him up to a trot. There you go. Just want you to relax, heels down. Sit that trot, relax, okay? Just relax in that trot, sit. Take your calf muscles off of him, push your legs away from him just a little bit, and just relax and keep a nice, solid seat, all right? Uh -huh. Now you're bouncing pretty hard, and I've ridden his trot a lot, he's not that rough. So what's happening is you're getting tight. Just relax. Okay, go ahead and stop him with that neck row. Ride him over here. Go ahead and step down for me. What I'm going to do, Lizzie, is I'm going to jump in your saddle here. Uh -huh. and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, okay? We're going to start around here at a trot. And I just want you to relax. Oh, don't come to the center. Just sit back and relax. When you start to get tight, 
you start to bounce like this. And that's because you're tight right here. And you're bouncing like a son of a gun, right? Uh-huh. I want you to relax and just sit down on his trot. He's got a pretty nice jog. Just sit down and go with him, okay? There's still gonna be some, ooh, still gonna be some bounce, but I want you to relax those muscles, sit down and go for the ride. Okay. Okay. Now, now I want you to watch, because I'm going to step to his eye and turn him out from underneath of you. Tex. There we go. Good. Ride through that turn. Relax. Okay, just stay real relaxed. Open your knees up, turn your toes out away from him. I'm gonna step to his eye and turn him. There you go, keep that weight in those stirrups. Come around there. Hey, we're gonna speed him up. Good, now relax. You're bouncing around there quite a lot. Your feet are coming out of those stirrups. Can you really keep your weight in that stirrup? Okay. Okay, how tall are you? Oh, about 5'4". Right. I'm 5'11". Your stirrups fit me perfect, okay? Uh-huh. So bring him on in here. Now, here's what I noticed. You can stand up in your saddle, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to bring your stirrups up one notch on each side. Because as you're riding, what's happening is you're not keeping weight on your stirrups. And you're actually, I'm actually seeing, oh, an inch and a half to two inches between your foot, the sole of your foot, and your stirrup. And what that means is that you're not keeping the weight on your feet. Okay. Instead, the weight is going into your thighs and your seat, your hip, and what's happening is you're bouncing, right? Mm -hmm. We've got to get rid of that bounce. Before you can do too much more, You've got to get rid of that bounce. Okay. There you go. Stand on those stirrups. Heels down. Heels down and don't tighten up. Don't, don't tighten up like that. Just heels down. Weight on your stirrups. Okay, I want you to stand up. No, stand up. Grab a hold of that saddle horn and stand up. Okay? Now uh -huh. you're standing pretty tall and that's fine. Now I want you to sit down. Okay. Now when you were standing, did you notice, now see the bounce? See yeah. the bounce is back, right? Stand up. Okay? You're not bouncing. No. If the horse was bouncing, you'd still be bouncing. Mm -hmm. Now sit down and stay standing. Let your knees absorb that shock. There you go. That's, a, that's quite a lot better, right? Uh-huh. I'm gonna speed him up. There you go, good. Now sit, even weight, even weight. Did you feel yourself going yes. to the right? Yes, uh-huh. All right, even weight, don't clamp up. There you go. Stand there. How come your left foot's got slack between it and the stirrup? Don't grip with your legs. Stand on your feet. Okay? Uh-huh. Stand on your feet. Stand up. Stand up with him. Stand up. Now, sit down, but stay standing. Good job. All right, now relax and take both hands off the saddle horn. There you go. Just ride along. Now, did you clamp up with your calf muscle when you relaxed? A little you bit. You can't clamp up and relax. Okay. Just sit up there and enjoy the ride. Okay, put your right hand on the saddle horn. We're gonna turn. Good, oh, don't hit the saddle. There you go. Way better. Nice and relaxed, both hands off the saddle horn. Just relax, 
right along. Expect, expect the unexpected, okay? Uh-huh. Good, much better. Now, don't start bouncing. Relax. There, relax. Don't bounce, sit. How come your feet are coming off the bottom of your stirrups? There you go. That was better. Okay, I want you to work on that a lot and work on that on lots of different horses until you can sit that saddle, walk, trot, and lope without any bounce, even on a rough gated horse. But I want you to really practice sitting down and around that horse. Okay. Good job. Mackenzie has shot a little bit. Uh, actually, you've shot probably quite a little bit, but not mounted shooting really. Right. You've done mounted shooting before? One time. One time. Not okay. really mounted shooting, just shooting you off a horse. You shot off a horse. Yeah. Okay, which is mounted shooting, but not mounted shooting. Right. Okay, so what I want to do first of all is go over a little bit of gun safety. Now, first of all, we know that in a mounted shooting competition, you're going to get a penalty for a dropped gun. You're going to get an added penalty for every loaded shell in that gun, right? The good news is today you're not under time, but they're my guns. Right. You will get more than a time penalty <laughs> for a dropped gun. Okay, so I want you to get comfortable handling your holsters on the ground. Now, of course, mounted shooting, you see all kinds of different setups and different rigs. Um, this is just two of my guns that we're using here to simulate that. So you can, you can wear it any way you want it to, right? I have you with a right hand draw and a, le and a left side cross draw, okay? So what I want you to do is just take your right hand gun out, grip it firmly, I want you to think G.I. Joe or John Wayne. John Wayne, let's think John Wayne. Yeah. Okay, I want you to pull it out. I want you to, to just kind of point it that direction. Okay. And then reholster it, and I don't want you to look at it. Okay. I want you to reach down, take a hold of it, pull it out, point it firmly, reholster it. Okay. Okay? Yep. Great. Good. All right. Do it again. Do it a couple times. Relax okay. with it. Get comfortable. Have yep. a little fun. There you go. There's a smile. <laughs> Now, you know for a fact that a woman can't get a man with a gun. Right. A man may be hot, but he's not when he's shot. There so. you go. That's the story. All right. Yeah. Now reach for your cross draw. Okay. All right. Perfect. I want you to feel you that. Yeah. Now, I want you to do it just in sequence. I want you to pull the right hand gun out, mm -hmm. level it, holster it, switch. Okay. Because okay? you're going to switch on the move. Okay. Now, your horse has been shot off of, mm -hmm. but not much recently. Right. And not by me. And not by you. So he's going to feel your level of nervousness. You're on camera. That makes you nervous. You're shooting. That makes you nervous. Yeah. So you've got to get control of your breathing. Stay relaxed. Stay okay. right. There you go. Have fun with it. There you go. That, don't look at it. You're looking at where you're riding. No, nope, not looking. Don't look at it. Feel it. Yep. Learn to feel that. Okay. okay. There you go. Good. There you Good. go. All right. Now, I don't care which gun you start with. Okay. You can start with whichever gun you want, okay? And we're gonna start at a walk. Now, one more thing I want you to do. Can I have your left-hand gun? Yes. Okay. Now, your horse's ears are sensitive, right? But not to just noise. We don't wanna singe them. So when you, when you shoot, I don't want you shooting directly past your horse's head. Okay. I want you to have some angle away from him all the time. Okay. So that we are never at risk of singeing him. It's, frankly, you're not gonna hurt him, but you're gonna, make him say ouch, right? You're not gonna right. hurt him permanently, but you're gonna make him say ouch, that's gonna make him nervous. Okay, now one more thing I want you to think about. You don't intend to not fire the gun. If you, if you cock this gun, you should intend to fire it. However, occasionally you have to let that hammer down. And I want people to be safe. You always keep the barrel pointed in a safe direction, right? And when you pull that hammer back, it's obviously ready to go. And you've shot him before, so you understand that. I want you to hold the hammer with your thumb, mm -hmm. pull the, squeeze the trigger, and let the hammer down, okay? okay? If it goes off, no big deal. No damage, right? Okay. I'd spook the horse, but that's all right. Better know it now, okay? So you're gonna squeeze the trigger. Hold that gun like you mean it. Mm -hmm. Hold it firmly in your hand, let the trigger down. You can go ahead and hold it with two hands right mm -hmm. now. When you hold that hammer, you pull that trigger, now, if I let go of it, the gun's gonna go off. Right. It's my thumb's job to guide it all the way back. Okay. And then let go of it, okay? 
So I pull that trigger. If I drop it right now, it's going to go off. My thumb takes it all the way forward. Okay, okay go ahead and just do that a couple of times. Just use two hands yeah. while you get comfortable with it. No, don't look nervous. Okay. Don't, yep, just perfect. Okay. It's not hard. Go ahead and do it a couple more times. <laughs> it's not hard once you understand it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay, a couple more times. So if for some reason you end up with that cocked gun, right. you just need to stop what you're doing, grab the gun with two hands, and let that hammer down. I can do it one-handed. I have quite a little bit bigger hand than yeah. you do. If you need to use two hands, you use two hands, let that hammer down. Okay. Okay. All right, go ahead and holster it. Yeah. Let's step up on our horses. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have you start going the other direction. Going this way? You're going to start going clockwise. Okay. That way you're shooting over here. Okay. Okay, I want you to start at a walk. Mm -hmm. I want you to shorten your range just a little bit. Okay, you've got that lifter bit on there, so you're gonna have your horse's nose kind of where you want it. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and start this direction. I'm gonna ride with you. Okay, now, if you shoot that balloon too close, at first it's gonna scare him. Okay. He's, okay, so let's just not even worry about the balloon. Let's just walk, okay, come with me. And I want you to pull one of your pistols, either one you're comfortable with, and I want you to shoot up. Okay. Okay. Stay on pattern, shoot mm -hmm. up. There you go. Good, perfect. Okay, go ahead and just, let me get to the outside again, and go ahead and do that again. Shoot up. Shoot up and behind you, away from the camera crew. Okay. There you go. Good. Again? Yep. Good. Until it's empty? Yep, just keep doing that. There you go. Perfect. Ah, you didn't count your shots. No. All right, I want you to holster it. Yep. Oh, don't look, <laughs> not, don't look. That's not, part of the drill. I'm not looking. Find that holster. Yep. Don't drop that gun, you know. I'm not gonna drop I'd it. I'd hate to have you drop it. I'm not gonna drop All it. All right, reach across. Now, shoot a balloon. There you go. All right, skip one. That's all right. There you go. Shoot a little more out on an angle. Don't shoot quite as forward on your horse. Okay. There you go. Good job. Did I already shoot this one? Go ahead. Good job. All right. That's enough. Let's go reload and we'll send you out solo. Don't okay. look, just holster it. Good job. So here's your last loaded gun. While we were loading guns, <laughs> yeah. don't look, <laughs> no. feel it. Okay, while we were loading guns, they put up some more balloons. You're gonna go solo. And I want you to go whatever speed you're comfortable with. Walk, trot, lope, okay. it's up to you. And um, go ahead and, and just shoot every other balloon. That gives you enough time to, to get ready. And of course, the faster you go, the quick, the more those balloons go by. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if you miss one, just Shoot for the next one. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Any questions? No, ah, you got it. Got it's old this. hat. All right, let's go have some fun with it. Good job. Keep him in there. There you go. Ride him back in there. There you go. Switch guns. Oh, yeah. It's not easy to switch guns at a lope. No, it's not. Short, you might want to shorten your rein a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, a 
You're empty. Yep, we're done. Oh. Good stuff. All right, come on over here. So, obviously, the horse is not a finished mounted shooting horse. <laughs> obviously, you're not ready for competition. No. No. The, the object isn't necessarily even to show you how to do mounted shooting or how to prepare for it. It's to show you if you want to do something fun, make it simple, get out there and go do it, right? Right. And that's, that's the big idea. So, you know, there's lots of things we could do better and different for sure. And you've got a lot of practice <laughs> handling the gun horseback and keeping control of your horse and keeping, but, but honestly, walk, trot, lope in one direction. We didn't set up a very difficult pattern. We right. actually, I put the round pin up on purpose to give you a pattern, you know, a, a barrier rather than a pattern, a barrier to follow. But in truth, all of that, only missed one balloon. Okay. It's not too bad, first time out. I'm thinking Annie Oakley probably first time out wasn't a whole lot better. So, uh, good job, any questions? No. Good job, that was Thanks. fun. Oh, yeah, thank you. You know what, I think horses are really made and created by God for our enjoyment. That's what they're for. So enjoy them with your family, enjoy them with your friends. Remember, keep it simple, have fun with it, and until next time, may God bless the trails you ride. Find out more about Ken McNabb horsemanship at KenMcNabb.com. That one true horse, the perfect partner built to ride. One true horse, a bond that cannot be denied. You would search forever just to have the chance to take a ride on